All right, uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set an alert on uh, Trading View. So if you go over here, this is your alert area. Right now, I have no uh, alerts set. You can create an alert like that, but I wouldn't recommend that. So let's just say that you find right here. Quickest way to do it is you just right click. So price is sitting here right now. Say you want to know when price breaks above this wick. You right click here. If you notice on the side, it'll, it'll say. So you right click, add an alert, and it adds an alert right where your price, right where you right clicked. And you can customize all this stuff. So like, you know, if it's crossing up, it'll set an alert. I just, I just like to have it at crossing. That's what basically, basically everybody does. Um, all your actions here. So notify an app. Um, I think that's for your cell phone because my alerts go to my cell phone as well. So I'm not sure. You can get an email alert, all that stuff. Play sound. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that sound on. I don't know why I didn't have that on. But yeah, you can adjust it here, but it should go right wherever you ri you right clicked. Uh, but yeah, you can adjust it here. You can change. I don't know if you can change that. I'm not sure. So yeah, you have all these options here. Then you can write the message. You can write, uh, let's just say, check charts. Price broke above wick. Possible buying opportunity. Whatever, right? So you can put all that in, and then uh, it'll uh, yeah, it'll alert you. It'll come up on the screen. It'll come up on your phone. It'll have your message here, right? Um, I always use the message like because each alert's different, right? Like uh, I'm just gonna like let's just say my alerts there. I might specifically put like oh check the four hour time frame when it gives me that alert. So that's the basic way to set an alert. So let's just say here so check four hour create and now you should see the alert right where you right clicked you can customize that too where I don't know where this is at alerts one second Or maybe you right click on this yeah no so that's that's how, that's how you edit it you can also delete it here extend alert lines yeah that's what I'm looking for so right there you can extend the line I don't like to have that but uh, you can do that so I just know your alerts there and then you can go in your alerts and here you go here it is Euro JPY and the message check the four hour I'm gonna delete that because it's not I don't actually need that alert yeah, that's the basic way of setting an alert. I think you can also click up here if you want, but I I don't know why you do that. Just I just right click, and let's just say here you have a let's just say you have support down here, right? And you want to set an alert on this line. You just right click, add alert on trend line. Now it's gonna add, it's gonna alert you when it crosses the trend line this is the automatic message you can you know you can write whatever you want in there create and then it should show up here so that's how you do that I'm not sure I think you can do that with basically any tool like let's just say you have a box I'm not sure I haven't tried this but uh, I guess you can so it's only for lines so you know you could have Let's just say you want to be alerted when it goes all the way down, right? Like if you want, you can just put another line, another line. You can just be alerting you all the way down on each line. Uh, so yeah, that's how you set alerts, and uh, they usually go to your phone and everything. That's uh, pretty convenient. I always use alerts because sometimes I have a pending order here, and then um, I'll have an alert right before my order fills, just so I can see the approach uh, before my order fills. So they're very important. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks. Check out my other trading view tips videos as well. I have a playlist. So. Thanks. Have a good day.